Good afternoon, Malacanang Press Corps. Happy Monday. Let's <clears throat> now have Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and uh, Presidential Spokesperson Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon. Good noon. Whose birthday is this today? No, 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 no. no. Your birthday? That's why you're in red or orange? Happy birthday. <laughs> Questions, Kathy? Happy Easter! Sino ba si Easter? Microphone, please. Raymond, Raymond Tinasa. Nasa si Henry? Wala na naman si Henry. Kanina nanggigising eh. Hi, sir. Good morning. Sir, just your reaction to the uh, report of uh, Mr. Dante Ang uh, with regards to the alleged Aus Duterte plot wherein he implicated, uh, according to his source in his uh, write-up, <clears throat> that uh, some journalists, especially from PCIJ, are behind as the propaganda machinery of that uh, Aus uh, plot. The source of that is from the office of the president. From the president himself. I, I, didn't, I don't know how he got one, but it's coming from the president. I talked to him the other day. You must remember that the president has so many sources. So he got this matrix from one of his sources. <clears throat> So, and I'm not even surprised that there is such a plot. <clears throat> if you notice, there, this has been going on. The, the pattern is clear, false news, and then transferred to another, and it circulates. So I'm not surprised at all. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it was interviewed this morning by Henry, was asking if, <clears throat> what will be the reaction of the palace if the journalist mentioned here would say that the palace is trying to stifle the right? And my answer, and I will repeat, we have never stifled dissent in this country. It's the president who encourages dissent. That is what democracy is all about. For the last three years, no journalist has been charged with any case in relation to his or her exercise of the freedom of speech or of the press. Sir. Absent the AFP and the police, uh, can, do you, you are actually convinced that these journalists can or have the capacity to plot or even to oust the president? It's not the capacity. <clears throat> when, when you conspire with others, you don't have to have the capacity because others would do it for you. In other words, what these people are doing is to give succor or assist the enemy if they're not the enemy themselves. So last point. So what will you do with the matrix or how will you counter? So we will be expecting that the president will do a counter propaganda. The counter propaganda is the achievements done by this administration. And the result, as you have seen, is the very high satisfactory and trust rating of the president. Surveys after surveys. Thank you, sir. Rose Novenario. Hi, sir. Follow up lang po. Sir, anong legal action, legal move ang gagawin po ng palasyo sa alleged uh, nasa likod po nung demolition job? Eh, di, di ba, they're at it already for the last how many months already or years. Ah, pinapabayal lang namin. We so just want, we just want manda. them to know that we know. And we want the people to know that 
They are on this. So wala pong legal move na gagawin? Hindi niyo ididimanda? Ayaw lang, ayaw lang namin sila. Ayan. Thank you. Follow-up questions? Jonah and then Ina? Yun lang sana. Sa ngayon, ha? Sa ngayon. Kasi if, if, if the plot thickens and they perform acts which are already violation of the penal laws, uh, that's a different story. So, mag-expect po ba tayo ng loyalty check sa hanay ng polis at militar? Wala. Eh, the military and the police are all behind him naman. That's a fact. Okay, Chona. Sir, will the palace monitor the activities of these uh, journalists who are no. in the matrix? You don't have to monitor. They're all, they're all there doing their thing. Julie. Trying to destroy this government. Julie by Dina. spreading false news and planting intrigues against the government. Sir, last night in Kabadbaran City, President mm. Duterte said that the source of the information was a foreign country. Since was it what? The, uh, President Duterte said that the source of the information was a foreign, was from a foreign ally. Uh, since you're saying that the matrix that came out in the Manila Times came from the office of the president, can you identify which country gave it to you? I do not know which country. If he said that, we have to ask him himself. Uh, president Duterte, you mean? Yeah, you, you can ask him where he got the source and who provided him with the info. So is it safe to say, sir, that, the, the, uh, that since you're saying that the office of the president is the source of the information, uh, President Duterte did orchestrate through the Manila Times yung paglabas ng Matrix. I said earlier I didn't even know where they got a copy of this Matrix. Although since journalists are very creative and has so many access, sometimes I cannot even understand why we haven't even left the cabinet meeting. Some of you already know what's happening inside. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Words, I, mga malls. I just need to clarify, sir. The office of the president did not give the matrix to the Manila Times. No. As but you're saying know. that the the source of the matrix was the office of the president earlier. I'm supposed to expose it today. Inauna pa ako ng Manila Times. So, what you're saying, sir, is that the matrix that you're supposed to publicize today is the same one that came out yes. in the Manila Times. But you're not saying that the office of the president gave the matrix to the Manila Times. No, sabi ko nga sa'yo, very creative. Ako nga dapat na, ano na, unahan pa ako. Magaling. Magaling ang mga periodista natin. Kasi ang galing nyo. Okay, Ina. Ina Andolong. Sir, just to press a little on the source of the matrix, because the president himself confirmed, and let me quote, what he said a few hmm. days ago. Uh, what you did not know is that you are being listened to habang ginagawa ninyo yung mga kalokohan ninyo. It was an intelligence report, not from us, but from another country. Although you're saying na hindi mo alam which country, yeah, hindi at ko the alam. very least, Wala siya, hindi niya sinabi sa is this something that is okay, sanctioned by Malacanang, a foreign government, or uh, yeah, foreign country spying on De, Filipino alam citizens? Alam niya yan, yun ang tinatawag na siya. Sharing of intelligence information. That's standard for all countries. They share intelligence information. If it affects the security of a particular country, they share information. But they're... Okay, so how would you describe... What would make them listening to reporters, as uh, you claim, I don't know. valid? Why would it be okay? I'm not saying valid. I'm just saying to you that this... What would justify it, rather? I'm, ju I'm just saying that this is intelligence information sharing. That's how they call it. Okay. Sir, the, see, uh, PNP Chief Oscar Albayalde had a statement on this earlier. He said that although um, the stabilization plots are possible, um, there's really no specific evidence, he says, to support itong sinasabing destabilization plot in the, um, based from the Bikoy videos. Baka sa kanila yun, sa party nila. Ay, hindi lang naman silang ahensya ng gobyerno on matters of security ng ating bansa. 
So right now, sir, you're saying what um, ang ginagawa nitong mga reporters na sinasabi ninyo ay they're assisting the enemy. So who is this enemy that... Kung, ay, kung sino yung gusto mag-aw mag sa presidente, yun yun yun. Either tinutulungan nila o sila kasama sila doon. Sino nga yun, sir, as far as Malacanang... Uh, uh, baka may nasabi na po yung foreign... Wala pa. Wala intent. naman yung nasabi. But I suppose they're the enemies of the state. Sino bang gustong magpabagsak sa ubiyan o kundi yung mga kalaman ng Estado? Who are the, can you specify, leftists? Sino po ba? Basta kasama na lahat ng mga kalaman ng gustong magpabagsak sa gobyerno. Thank you, sir. Okay, follow up. Uh, Cedric? Sir, good afternoon po. Sir, para mas malinaw lang po, uh, yung source nung story po ay f someone from the OP or the president, him uh, president himself, sir? Para mas malinaw. Anong source? Ang sinabi ko na nga sa'yo na <laughs> kaya hindi ka nakikinig. <laughs> Sabi ko sa'yo, so, yung ako I'm supposed to to release this eh, today. Eh, nawala pa nga ako ng Manila Times. Ibig sabihin, mas mag magaling silang no, ano, sir, kasi monitor. Na nabanggit niyo kanina, sir, the president huh? himself. Nabanggit niyo po kanina, the president himself. Ang source. presidente ang nakatanggap nito. Pero whether or not Manila Times got it from us, eh, definitely hindi. <laughs> okay, so hindi po ibinigay ng OP or ng, ng, ng Pangulo? Sinabi na nga ang hindi. Let go. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Sige sir, follow up lang po sir. Para lang, para lang po malinaw sir. Sir, follow up lang po. Uh, wala po kayang uh, na, nalalabag na legal standards or ethical standards itong uh, pag-listen in ng uh, ibang bansa doon sa supposed... Uh, Sinagot ko na rin yan. Sinabi ko na sa inyo, eh, we call that information, intelligence information sharing. Okay, Cedric, thank you. Ace? Thank you, sir. Uh, can you give us details on the vetting process that you did for this matrix? You will have to ask the president himself because siyang source. Nitong matrix, o di tanongin ninyo siya kung <laughs> paano niya binet, paano niya binalidate. <clears throat> so how reliable is the information relayed to him? Uh, siguro naman, considering he's the president, and he has so many sources, eh, validated yan. Pero remember, may mga pagkakataon din dati sa drug matrix, nag-apologize siya dati. Pero, kasi... Isa lang naman yun, out of what? Out of, so, out of a million, tapos isa lang, yun naman. So we can say it's properly vetted? It didn't oh, yes. undergo a rigorous verification process? Kasi i-release nyo to. Hindi yan mag-instruct mag sa akin na i-release ko kung hindi niya na-validate. So may validation, may proper validation? Sure. Okay, salamat po. Okay, uh, Marisol, then Ina. Sir, you mentioned that the president instructed you to release the matrix. Naunahan lang talaga kayo ng Manila Times. Yeah, I think so. Mm -mm. Kasi supposed to be ako maglalabas nito ngayon eh. Sir, back, why did the president instruct you to uh, release the hindi? matrix? <laughs> Kasi kahit hindi niya ako instruct kung natanggap ko ito, ilalabas ko. Why, sir? What's the well, essence? Naman, it's, this is very important. If there is an house to... Or there is a ouster plan, then people should know about it. Bakit, sir, the people, ba what do you mean, bakit? People have the right to know what's happening in this government. And that includes people who want to destroy this government. So, sir, it's our constitutional duty to inform the public of what is happening. And what was the exact instruction po of the president to you, sir? What do you mean, what? The, yung exact uh, instruction po niya sa'yo, just to air it, just to yeah. publicize. That I touch it on my news briefing today. Okay, Ina. Sir, I'm looking at the matrix dito mm. sa Manila Times. I, I, I'm not sure if it's the exact same one that you have over there, but can you explain to us, medyo confusing and then there's not much detail doon sa article and how it works. And daming linya, email used to log in, there are files, then web IP, email used to log in, link. Can I think the article of the Manila Times is clear enough. No. It says coming from this, papunta dun sa ganun. Yeah, but the, the matrix itself, yung links, can you tell us 
from you since in, you were told by the president to explain it to us I assume no he didn't tell me to explain it kaya nga sabi niya so bakit ininstruct ka po na ilabas why eh, did hindi ba sinagot ko na we have to inform the oh, public okay. So, and it's through that matrix which I'm asking, can you please explain it to us? Ano po yung ibig sabihin ng video uploader than email used to login because we cannot rely on a colleague's report solely? Ah, hindi. Kung ano yung sinabi ng Manila Times, <laughs> yun na yun. Mga yun, maganda nga pag-explain nila. No, sir. We'd like to hear it from you, especially since you were instructed by the President No, no the, the instruction by the President just to, uh, to touch on it. Pinadala okay, so can to, you explain oh. us to the matrix, sir? How does it work? I don't know how it works. The president, sabi ko, sa tinanong nga si Presidente, uh, how will, uh, if, suppose if they ask this, tell them to ask me. Oh. So he told eh, you, siya, 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 ng galing, di siya he told you to release it to him, now we're asking you, and then his oh. response is, you, we ask him. To touch on it, not to, to touch on this. Okay. Kasi pinadala sa akin to eh. O, oh, hindi eh, nakita ko. Okay. Kaya nilabas ko. Eh, pinailabas naman pala. Mas maganda pa nga yung paliwanag ng Manila Times, kompleto pa eh. Yeah, but you're supposedly the source, sir, eh, di ba? No, I'm so not the source. No, <laughs> the, president. the president. Exactly, and he instructed you to relay no, that he, to us, so I was hoping no, for a bit more explanation. No, he just asked me to touch on it. Yun lang ang sabi niya. Meaning, ano po? Oh, yeah. A simple explanation of the matrix, please, sir. Hindi ko nga alam ang explanation nito. Basta <laughs> kung ano yung nakalagay sa Manila Times... Mas klaro eh. Kung ano yung pagkalagay doon, maganda yung... Assume, sir, that the Manila Times hindi kayo naunahan. So how would you explain it to us Pwede then? Pwede ganun din. Kung ano yung nakalagay sa Manila Times. <laughs> Check naman. Thank you, sir. Nasaan nyo? Teka. Uh, Rose. Handle ya. I mean, as you know, it starts with a video, and then there's a line po kasi. It's sent email. Whose email is used? And then, ano po ba? Ganda na paliwanag nila. Bilip nga ako sa kanila. <laughs> I hope you are not quoting an art, a media article, sir. I no, would... eh, hindi. Gusto kong para marinig mo. Ganda nga ng paliwanag. Unless he's the source himself. <laughs> Ayan, no? There's Sec an obvious pattern Why? of close coordination. The playbook is all too familiar, sabi niya. Utilize the media. Plant fake news. I Sir, do. we appreciate the oh. article from Manila Times, but we would like to hear your explanation oh, well, because yeah, you are the one supposed to be I releasing would be it to us. Hearsay yung akin. Ay, hindi naman hearsay. <laughs> Why would you say it's hearsay? Sinabi, because hindi sa akin ang source. Eh. I'm not the source. Eh. It's the president. You were instructed by no, the source. You're the presidential he did, spokesman. He did explain to me. He just sent me this. And then sabi niya, sige, touch mo. So again, please give us a simple explanation on what it is. Anong gusto mong explanation? There is an officer plot. Kasi linya-linya po eh. O hindi, ang ibig lang sabihin niyan, yung mga, nandun mga pangalan, yun ang mga miyembro ng organization. Di ba? There is the National Union of People's Lawyer. Who are the members of that? Ito yun, yung grupong yun, nakangalan doon. Sa Ruffler naman, sino ba yung mga nandun? Yun na yun. It was named there. And sa PCIJ, nandun din. O, hindi ba? Very clear naman. Ilagay lang ang mga pangalan para alam natin kung sino yung mga nandun. Okay. I'm asking about the process. There's, there's, there appears to be some diba, sort galing of daw, workflow. Galing daw kay Bicoy, tapos dadala kay Tordesillas, and then ipapasa niya naman sa iba. Okay. Oh, yun. yun. That's it. Thank That's you. how I understood the matrix. Thank you, sir. The okay. way the Manila Times... Explained it too. <laughs> okay, Rose, then Cedric, and Ace. Last three na to sa topic na to. Ay, sir. So, yes. ibig niyo sabihin, sir, yung linya ng pag-iisip ng Malacanang at saka yung pagkakasulat ni Dante ang pareho, tugma, 100% accurate the way, siya, Dante. The way it was explained, tama naman kasi based on this, eh, ganun nga kasi from Bicoy, papunta kay Tordesillas, tapos may mga linyang araw. Di ibig sabihin ni spread. So, kung... Kung shiner po ito words, ng... Just looking at this, using your common sense. Oh my God. using... Kasi nandito nakalagay naman eh. Nandito yung source. Tapos, papunta kay Ellen Tordesillas. And then, three hours papunta dun sa tatlong company. So, wala pong ano, sir. Uh, o di ibig sabihin... Wala pong ano, authority na mag -e explain sa amin. Halimbawa po, from the intelligence community, from cyber division. 
ng NBI, o kung Wala. sino pong ano, a, a mere piece of paper po, ay parang gusto nyo paniwalaan na namin? Ay galing kay Presidente, kaya paniwalaan nyo. Oh. <laughs> Pero kailangan po may paliwanag kasi. Eh, sabi nga ni Presidente, tell them to ask me. Oh, yun ang sagot niya. Kaya kasi pag nakita niyo siya, tanongin niyo. Kung sharing po ng kung sharing po ng intelligence information, dapat po may intel may taga intelligence community na magpapaliwanag man lang. Kasi sa kanila I'm sure senior 'yun. No ibinigay po kay presidente. Hindi, yeah, dinerecho kay presidente. Kaya po, eh, siyempre papa-vet po ni presidente 'yan sa intelligence community Hindi naman po. Niya, basta at sabi niya sa akin, eh. they have questions, tell them to ask me. Yun, that's it. I'm just relaying to you. So may plano po mag-conduct mag ng press Aba, conference si Presidente? Oba, pag nakita nyo, i ka agad. Tulungan ko kayo pa-ambush. Ambush so, interview. So mag-new siya mag-press con si Presidente? Hindi. Yung mga nandun sa Beijing, yun. Ang mga kasigura, yan. Si Ina, sigurado yun. Nandun ka ba? Wala. Hindi ka darating. <laughs> sir? Ay, si Maricel. Ay, si... Cedric. Cedric po, sir. Cedric. Sir, i-rephrase po yung, mga, yung last two questions po, no? Sir, let's, 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 if we can pretend if, if for the next few seconds na hindi lumabas yung article ng Manila Times, sir. What were you supposed to tell us, sir? What, how were you supposed to break the story? Oh, di sabihin ko, may matrix dito. Pinadala sa akin, ni Presidente. O, oh, di, ganun din ang paliwanag ko. Galing kay Biko, yes, pamunta kay Tordesila. Kung ano nakalagay sa araw, di yun yun. Okay, uh, Ace. Okay, simple Please, lang naman yan. Ang ibig sabihin, the source is Biko eh. Gumawa siya ng mga fake news. Pinadala niya. Ay, hindi nga alam kung sino man. Eh, obviously, ano yun? Pseudonym lang. O kung sino man yun. Pinadala niya kay Tordesillas. Pinadala naman ni Tordesillas so, sa tatlo. Tapos, it, kinalat na nila. Yun, yun lang naman. Ibig sabihin ito kasi kaya we are asking for an official explanation kasi you know, official explanation yeah, kasi mahirap naman yung common sense lang eh, oh. yung araw-araw and we are tagging people and making some serious allegations yun nga explanation that's the explanation the source is Bicoy it was related to Tordesillas and Tordesillas related to three groups na dinistribute naman nila ito sec ganito na lang yung sinabi na hindi man lumabas sa dyaryo ngayon Who briefed you about the matrix? Kasi sabi niya, di ba? Presidente nga ang kausap ko. So the president told you how it... Hindi niya sinabi. Hindi niya sinabi. Sabi niya, may pinadala, may papadala ako sa iyong, ano, ganito, matrix. Sabi ko, ano ba yun? Mr. President. Sabi niya, I'll start plot against me. O, hindi, bahala ka na. Tinanong niyo siya kung how it worked. Hindi na. Basta sabi ko, paano kung tanungin ng media ganito, tell them na galing sa akin mismo yan. They can ask me. Yan. Okay. okay. Sabi ko naman. Sige po. Okay. And PC? Other issue? RJ. Uh, Virgil. <laughs> Sir, we'll just like to confirm if the President will be attending yung BOA Forum mamaya. Hindi ko pa alam kasi nag-text ako dun sa... OP kung tuloy o hindi, wala pang sagot. Ay, wala pang sagot. Wala pang sagot. Kate-teka kate, kasi nag-text si Ina eh. Kaya pinaward ko yung tanong. So wala pa sa Manila si President, sir? Ha? Huh? Is the President in Manila already? Palagay wala pa. Okay. Okay, MPC? May tanong pa? Okay. Hour na? Raymond, meron ka tanong? <laughs> RJ. Okay, thank you, MPC. Okay, teka muna. Yung key, na, natanggap niyo ba yung key, ano, yung aking response kay Mr. Del Rosario? Natanggap niyo yun? Pero hindi pa lumabas yun. Lumabas na? Saan? May, meron ba dyaryo ng Holy Week? Ano, Sabado lang? Ang gano? Okay. Sir, may last two questions, Rose and then Cedric. Rose. Sir, sino po yung nasa likod ni Bicoy? Alam nga... Ay, hindi na, hindi ko alam. Tanongin natin so, sa... So, ayun nga po, iimbestigahan yung yung Matrix na yan. Para Sasabi malaman ko sino yung nasa likod. Sasabi ni Presidente, if you have likod. any question, you can ask him direct. 
Kasi sabi ni Chief From PNP Al- Albayalde, iimbestigahan dati ng PNP kasi oh, hindi ko eh. Hindi ibig sabihin iimbestigahan. Baka meron silang separate investigation. Uh, Cedric, and then, sorry, may Pia, yeah. and then RJ. Sir, yung sa Matrix pa rin po, sir. Sir, ngayong lumabas na yung story, sir, would, uh, does the palace consider the plot uh, effective, uh, effectively quelled? Or are you anticipating maybe some sort of reorganization from the plotters? Ano, talaga mo? Whether it's, ano? Uh, y- quelled na po yung plot. Kung wala na. Crushed. Wala na, tapos na. Kaput. Hindi uh, natin alam kung tutuloy pa rin nila. Basta as far as we're concerned, we're exposing it. But as I said, they can do the worst, we'll just do our best. And the Filipino people naman apparently do not believe them. Lahat na mga kasinungalingan, hindi naman pinaniniwalaan. Otherwise, matagal na bumagsak ang rating ni Presidente. Sir, does the yeah. palace consider this plot as a serious threat against the administration? Lahat naman ng plot against the administration will be serious. But whether it will succeed or not, It's another thing. So you're considering it as a serious threat. Pero, cons- uh, pero considering, sir, na sabi nyo hindi nyo nga kakasuhan yung mga tao na nandito sa matrix na ito, what does the palace intend to do to stop this threat? Eh, hey, by exposing it. Di ba? Kasi, pa, kasi kaya natin in-expose, para makita natin ang <clears throat> kaibahan ng mga tunay na periodist ng kagaya nyo na hindi nagpapalabas ng kasinungalingan hindi nag-distribute uh, ng mga false news and false narratives. Yun ang intention ni Presidente. So how can the public uh, make a distinction between the palace just uh, uh, destroying the credibility of this journalist to how? the palace responding to Yun uh, yung credible ano, eh. threat? By exposing them, eh, sinabihan mo na sa publiko, pag ito galing dito, kay maniwala. Dahil yan ang mga nagpa-plot against us government. Ngayon, paggaling kay Ina, kay Pia, Maricel, Chona, Ace, RJ, <laughs> mga matitino yan. See? Wala, kayo, wala yung mga pangalan nyo rito eh. <laughs> yung may mga pangalan dito, ang delikado. So we, do, we wouldn't expect any other action other than the palace exposing these people. As I said, pag nag-perform na sila, apart from this, which is violative of the provisions of the penal laws, that's a different story. Pero isn't conspiring against the government violative of the constitution or the laws, sir? Pero kung ang conspiracy mo lang ganito, tumutulong ka lang, wala, wala ka namang overt acts na talagang pinapabagsak mo gobyerno, hindi pa. Wala pa. Kulang pa. Kulang pa. Thank you, sir. Okay. RJ, last issue na, sa last issue na to. Ha? Sir, are we reporters being surveilled by that fo- foreign country? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> not? Uh, but we came up with that matrix eh, because uh, a foreign country is surveilling reporters. Naman, so definitely, ko, mas, we are being mas surveyed. Masakalam ko, that standard yung mga intelligence sharing information. I've been hearing that ever since. And it's fine, sir, for foreign countries to surveil uh, Filipino journalists. I don't know whether they're surveillance or not. I'm just saying that intelligence information are shared by them relative to the securities of other countries. Mm-hmm. Because siguro maapektuan din sila, whatever. Hindi ko alam. Maapektuan sila. Sir, uh, may kakasuhan? Eh, basta lumabag na sila. Pag meron na sila mga overt acts to bring down this government, that's a difference. So that matrix... Pero kung hindi, mga ito-ito lang muna... Eh, hindi pa yan overt. Eh, dati-dati naman nilang pinaggagawa na ito. Eh. Well, hindi naman sila nagsasaksin. But the public has the right to know. They Walang to know. kakasuhan, sir. So, sa ngayon, wala. Kasi wala pa akong... Sa, wala pang binibigay sa akin na uh, overt acts. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, follow up, Julie. Sir, since you're saying that the matrix is the, um, the matrix that came out in the Manila Times is the same as the president has, uh, how will the palace take 
uh, to the possibility that the palace might be included in possible charges by these journalists, say for libel or for the for well, maligning. The possibility of what? Libel charges, sir. Who will file? What if the journalists or the lawyers file libel charges against the Manila Times and the palace as well? Since you're saying that it's the you have the same matrix, how how will the palace react to that? Oh, this is <laughs> this is a democratic country, guy. <laughs> Everyone has the right to sue, but whether or not that will prosper is another story. But we will not stop anybody from filing, and yeah, that's the right. RJ. Uh, okay, RJ, follow up, yan. Sir, you mentioned acts na pwede na silang kasuhan. What specific acts na pwedeng makita natin na yes, pwede na silang kasuhan? Abay, kung nag-unggalimawa, nag, uh, nag-uusap sila dun sa mga kung sino man yung mga kausap nila na nagpa-plano na silang mambomba, magpatay, mag-assassinate. Okay, ibang usapan na yun. So how is this an ouster plot kung hindi pa siya umaabot sa ganun? What do you mean, uh, how? This Bikoy and then... Uh, communicating with journalists, eh, sa, sa Ting, publishing. Ang ko, ang purpose nito is to, <clears throat> for this government to lose credibility. That's how you destroy a government. You lose, or government's losing credibility will be the start of its fall. Kasi yung mga tao, kukontra na sa'yo. Kung mapaniwala mo sa mga kasinungalingan mo, yun ang magiging start niya. Thank you. Okay, last, uh, I mean, other issue, Chona. Other issue. Sir, any update on the diplomatic protest filed by the government? Wala pa sinasabi sa Secretary Duxin kung meron na response. Tina, Tina Marali. Microphone please, Cedric. Sir, good afternoon po. Sir, recently yung Philippine Navy, Navy po natin, pinadala natin yung BRP Davao del Sur sa China to participate in the founding anniversary po ng People's Liberation Army nila. Hindi po ba ito parang salungat dun sa stand natin ngayon na may diplomatic protest tayo and other things na parang nakikiisa pa tayo imbes na ano? Hindi naman, parang pupunta lang sila noon dahil sa anniversaryo. Kasi kapwa, kapwa, pareho rin sila Navy Yes, sir, follow up lang po. Um, last night po, uh, President Duterte parang called out China dun sa ongoing construction daw po sa uh, disputed territory. So is this a sign po na the President will take it up with President Xi when he goes to Beijing? I said before that he may or may not. Depende. Depende sa kanya. Thank Pwede you, sir. Pwede rin naman na si President Xi ang mag-raise ng issue dahil bigyan na tayo ng ating Pananaw o katayuan. We made our stand already. But sir, is uh, Malacanang confident na pag uwe ni Presidente from Beijing eh, may, ma, uh, may makukuha na po tayong resolution? Well, as we Kaya said, issues. as I said before, and as said by the President too the other day or yesterday, negotiation is still the best solution to resolve this conflict. Mag-usap tayo. Thank you, sir. Okay, last question na tayo kay Cedric. Sir, uh, phone-in question, sir. Sir, uh, we need to confirm, sir, kung pinatawag nga daw ni Presidente yung mga Bureau of Immigration agents daw, na alleged, Manila agents daw po ito, na allegedly ay uh, nagkakondak na extortion versus Korean agents. This is uh, a story from two or three weeks ago, sir. Hindi ko pa na, hindi ko pa na, ano yan, makarating sa akin. Wala pa, Wala pa akong info niya. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, MPC. Questions? So okay na tayo? Okay, thank you, MPC. Thank you. Sa Joyce, wala kayo ato ang tanong ngayon. Joyce? Saan doon sa si Joyce? <laughs> ba? Ay, si Joyce? Si Joyce, si Joyce. Wala kang tanong yata ngayon. Okay, thank you, Secretary Si Bernadette, Panayon. wala rin tanong. Tahimik. Thank you, okay, MPC. thank you. Thank you, Baktor Mesojo sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.